How's it going? It's Matt here from VCM. I'm here today to talk about our heavy hitting camshaft, so the, the biggest ones we offer on our list. Uh, generally, these aren't offered as daily driven camshafts. Look, I do have some customers that will push a friendship and drive it maybe once or twice a week, but these are generally for weekend use only. All the, the camshafts I will mention, so the VCM3, the VCM7, VCM713, the third VCM13, and the VCM24, they're all you know, generally speaking for the weekend warrior, they all require you know, full exhaust, OTRs, you know, generally short diff gears and in an auto, big stall. Now, like I said, I do have some customers that will use them on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's not for the faint-hearted. They are tricky to drive, especially as a manual. You know, if you're stuck in peak hour traffic, it's not gonna be you know, user-friendly. Okay, the first camshaft in that list of heavy hitting camshafts, the VCM3. Now it's something that I don't recommend is on a day-to-day -day basis. It's something that's more suited to you know, the occasional day-to-day -day use and more of a weekender. Um, it does require, you know, in an auto, a uh, small stall uh, and short diff gears. You know, it can be tricky to drive as a manual. Uh, I do have a video clip, let's have a listen. Okay, the next camshaft in our listing is the VCM7. Now this particular camshaft is probably one of our best sellers. It's moved across the country, you know, at least probably one of every workshop has used it at least once. Um, it's more suited to auto with a stall, short diff gears, you know, three nines and a minimum. And as a manual, always generally makes good power, whether it be VT to VZ or VE, but a little bit tricky to drive and that's why not recommended for a day-to-day -day driver, good for a, a weekend car or a track car or something like that. Uh, let's have a listen. Okay, so the third camshaft in our heavy hitting list is the VCM713. Basically developed because um, we had a small, we had a void between the next camshaft I'll mention and the VCM7. This one fits in between. Um, has a, a wide lobe split, you know, generally suited to the square port headed engine. Uh, so anything VE based or late VZ. Uh, always a good result. Definitely don't recommend it as a daily drive. I've had some guys that have done it before. It is very tricky as a manual, and as a, an auto requires you know, 35 to 38 as a minimum in the stall, and three nines as a gear set. Um, let's have a listen. Now the fourth camshaft in our heavy hitting list is a VCM13. Uh, great camshaft, you know, strictly for weekend use or you know a drag car or something like that. Don't recommend it on a day-to-day -day basis. As a manual, very very hard to drive. You know, requires three nines as a minimum. As an auto, it's, it requires you know 4500 as a stall to get the best result. Also three nines at a minimum. Um, like I said, it's also moved, you know, one of our most popular grinds as well for the, the guys that are looking for a weekend warrior, so to speak, but not, rev not advised on a day-to-day -day use. Uh, let's have a listen. The final camshaft in our list of, of heavy hitters, the VCM24, is the biggest one we offer on our list. Now I do offer a, a custom grind service which can be discussed if you do call here. Um, I've used this camshaft personally twice before with good success. It is strictly weekend use only, don't recommend it on a day-to-day -day basis. Manual cars require three nines and a minimum. Tricky to drive, you know, as an auto it's 
you know, depending on the application, it's you know, 4,800 to 5,000 plus in the stall and 4,11s is a minimum. Let's have a listen.